Hi guys, it's Lou here at Nana's Design Depot. And this is the ghost I made from this perfect cast stuff. And the pumpkin that I had started with resin and filled it in with a perfect cast. And here's the lid to this little pumpkin jar that I did before with the stuff that was supposed to be jasminite. But I am coming to realize, I believe that stuff from Five Below that I made the pumpkin jar out of is this perfect cast stuff. It behaves the same way and looks the same and feels the same. So anyway, I had to make a new lid because my first one didn't come out right. So let's see how this one does. Made with a perfect cast and it turned out wonderful. I will have to paint it. But my pumpkin jar doesn't look right anyway because it cracked on the bottom. So I think I'm going to mix some paint with the Perfect Cast and see what I can do about covering the cracks. I poured resin in the bottom of it so it would seal. So I think I'll do some painting and I'll take you along for the ride. It seems to set up really nice like concrete. So. I will show you the next step. Okay, I ran across something I bought at Dollar Tree in the plus section the other day. Pre-mixed pouring paint. And I had some other pouring paints I had mixed up. So I'm going to do me a dirty cup and I'm going to do it on the little pumpkin. I'm gonna put a little bit of white, little bit of green, little bit of orange and I made all these other pouring paints myself with house paint a little bit of varnish I've got a little gold too oh that felt like a clump hopefully it wasn't oh my this could this could turn out really bad guys but you're here with for it right you guys will help me out whoa <laughs> it's a rather large squirt Okay, this could be insane. Let's see what we got here. A little bit more of the chunky gold. Hopefully it's not too chunky. Why not? Some more green. And let's do some more of the coral, the color that got it all started. Yeah, that was the only pouring paint I saw that day at that Dollar Tree. Our local Dollar Tree does not have a plus section. So I have to go, oh, I don't know, about 30 miles away to the next community to go to a Dollar Tree Plus. So when I go this time, I will get more. Okay, maybe a little bit more green. What the hoo-ha. Okay, be ready for this, guys. I've seen some people swirl it just a bit up on top for interest. Let's see what we've got. This will either be super cool or it'll be a total flop. But we will find out. Let the pouring commence. Oh, it might get muddy. Oh, I didn't want to get it on the little handle. Can I help it over the little bumps and ridges, I suppose? Ooh, not bad. See a bubble? Okay, let's see what we've got here. I'll kind of do a traveling ring pour. Hopefully get it everywhere. Boy, it's pouring out really fast. Okay, I think I'll stop there and see what happens. Mm. Maybe I should have painted this lid first because it's got that ugly gray color that my casting material wound up being. Hey, that's looking kind of cool. Needs help. I might have to flip it over and pour it the other way as well. Oh, there's that chunk. No, no, no chunks allowed. Oh, wow. Okay, guys. I will probably have to flip this guy over and do him from the other side. So I'll let it sit until at least somewhat dry. And then I'll come back, show you what we've got and go from there. Thumbs up, as usual. Thanks, guys. 